The questions could hardly be more serious for Nicola Sturgeon now. Did she break the ministerial code? And will this once unblemished First Minister of Scotland have to resign? Tomorrow she'll get her chance to answer, but today she sat quietly beside her deputy as her government published legal advice on the Alex Salmond investigation. The balance of public interest in these exceptional circumstances now lies in releasing to the committee and for publication the contents of legal advice received by the government during the judicial review, in particular the advice from external counsel. We now know that as far back as October 31st, 2018, the Scottish Government's legal counsel discovered a flaw in their case and warned procedure was not followed and was ignored in a way which may vitiate the entire proceedings. They knew their case was in trouble. On December 6th, legal counsel said again the least worst option would be to concede. But on the 11th of December, a redacted name from within the Scottish Government replied, the Lord Advocate Solicitor General very clear that no question or need to drop the case. Lord Advocate clear that even if prospects are not certain, it is important that our case is heard. In January 2019, the Scottish Government did have to concede the case in court, costing the taxpayer more than half a million pounds, a potential breach of the ministerial code by misusing public funds. I've been in the Parliament for 22 years and I can say to you I've never been more shocked than I am now at the actions of the Scottish Government. The Government persisted with a case in the Court of Session that actually was unlawful and they knew months and months before they finally conceded the case. Also tonight, two new witnesses have come forward with evidence in support of Alex Salmond. It raises more questions for Nicola Sturgeon about misleading Parliament on what she knew of this investigation and when potentially another breach of the ministerial code, and opponents want her to resign. We are bringing forward a motion of no confidence in Nicola Sturgeon as First Minister to the Scottish Parliament. That will be lodged tomorrow morning. And this isn't a decision we've rushed to. You know, We have not called for Nicola Sturgeon to resign during this, but the release of this evidence this evening confirms what many of us thought for some time. And we simply cannot have a First Minister who will mislead Parliament and the public. Nicola Sturgeon is a leader synonymous with competence and popularity. She denies any wrongdoing, but she is now embroiled in scandal and tomorrow will be fighting for her political future.